Hello and welcome to the channel everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about Oculus Rift S problems and hopefully how to fix them for you. So I got this Oculus Rift S here, uh, I think late last year, December 2019 or so. And then pretty much straight away, as soon as I plugged it into this computer, I had problems. The, the screen was going black and I had that problem for ages. I talked to sec tech support about it. I went through the tons and tons of emails back and forth uninstall your oculus software plug in the usb then wait 10 seconds or whatever it is plug in your display port reinstall your graphics card drivers another thing that will probably help you in solving some of the oculus rift s problems is going into your computer finding your usb ports that you're plugging into and then disabling power management. Now for me, that didn't work. And it's very weird. I, I thought maybe I had a faulty headset. However, my other gaming computer in the other room, you plug this in, works absolutely fine. So really weird. Oculus pretty much said to me that they were gonna send me out a new headset because they thought it was faulty. And I'm like, no, I don't think it is, because it works absolutely fine on my other PC. So once I did actually get this in some form working and I could be in VR, even if I was in like the Oculus Home, for the first maybe minute I was in the Oculus Home, I could move my controllers around no problems, and then about after a minute, even though I was moving my hands like this, wherever my hands were at that point that it messed up, all of a sudden they, these controllers would just sit there. Doesn't matter how much I move my hands around and then you could just like move the controllers like that and that was it. Um, so I had many, many issues with this headset on this PC. So if you're having similar issues, maybe your problem is the same as my problem. I read some people saying, Oh, plug it into a different USB port. I tried all my USB ports, didn't work. Uh, there's a lot of people online saying that they've had quite good success with um, powered USB ports like this. This has um, the option to be able to power it to an external source uh, compared to something like this, of course. Um, that you just plug in and plug into a USB-C or just a regular hub that's unpowered. Now, I did try to plug this into this USB-C uh, port because the USB-C, I think, actually gets a little bit more power. I, and this didn't work. It didn't fix my problems. But this, which is USB-C, which is powered but to be honest, when I bought this, didn't it actually come with an external power so you have to buy your own? I thought, you know, I'd, normally I have this up here. It's just my SD card reader for making videos and I just plug it in there. But I pulled this out. I plugged it in. I plugged the Oculus in here without any additional power. None. Just this. And I thought, that's probably going to be just as bad as this, right? It's not going to fix my problem. But I, I did it anyway. And you know what? It worked. Not even with an external power source. Uh, you may have noticed the uh, Half-Life Alex video I did the other day. Uh, I spent 50 minutes in VR in that game and no problem. Um, I spent some time in big screen beta the other day for probably at least an hour, hour and a half. No problem. I was in VR chat last night for probably two, two and a half hours. Again, 
no problem. So all these Oculus problems seem to be something related to your motherboard, your power supply, something not giving your headset enough power. But this, hooked up to a USB-C port on my motherboard, seemed to work. So I thought this video might just help some people out. This is Unitech, um, but I think there's a lot of different versions of this that it, I, I reckon it comes out of the same place in China, but with a different name on it. It's got the HDMI, the USB-C, SD card readers and USBs and all that. You'll see them around on Amazon and all that. Probably the same thing worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. If you're trying something like this, probably don't bother. Uh, it didn't work for me, but that did. Uh, obviously, if you buy one of these and this doesn't work for you, maybe power it uh, and it will work for you. But all my Oculus Rift S problems have been solved by this. This. So thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully uh, this helped you. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.